All right. You thought I was going to come from this side, right? But I tried to trick you. Okay. Um, adding and subtracting radicals. Next step from simplifying. There's only one thing you can remember with adding or subtracting, and this really goes for any adding or subtracting rule. You can only add or subtract like terms, okay? And the radical itself, the number underneath that, is what makes it like or not like. Example one, five root three plus six root three. Well, the root three is what makes it like, so they are like terms. Now, kind of like fractions, how when you add them, you don't really add the denominators together, like one over 12 plus two over 12 is not three over 24. It's just three over 12. Same thing goes here. So I'm just gonna add the numbers in the front of the radical. So this is simply gonna be 11 root three, okay? Next example here, um, kind of looks like type, right? That's how good my handwriting is. No, not really, all right, whatever. Uh, root six plus two root six. Don't freak out, What's how many root sixes are here? One, okay? So it's one root six plus two root six. I've got three root six here, okay? Um, and then here, do a little subtraction, 10 root 5 minus 12 root 5, simple operation rules. Um, so I'm going to have a negative 2 root 5, no worries there, okay? Now, obviously these three are easy because I made them all like terms. Let's try one or two that doesn't have a like term just to see what you kind of end up with because there is a right and wrong answer to that for sure. So this would be uh, example probably 4, okay. Um, let's go 11 root 7 plus 2 root 6, okay. So 11 root 7 plus 2 root 6. Remember, now we're in kind of a different area here. We're talking about simplifying, adding and subtracting radicals. I did not say give me the decimal form and add them together. That's not what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for the simplification um, of an expression. Right? There's no equal sign here. I got nothing else. I want you to simplify these terms. Can you? No, because these are not like. I can't do anything here. So I'm going to simply leave this as my answer. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to do another example because that seems pretty easy. When it gets tricky, um, is when it gives you something like this because remember just because we learned simplifying radicals and you were able to do that or at least you feel more comfortable with that now doesn't go away that still has to be in your mindset that you always have to simplify the number under a radical first here's what I mean so for instance if I give you the square root of 16 plus mm, 9 okay don't give me the square root of 16 plus 9 as your answer because that's not correct you know what the square root of 16 is. It just happens to be 4, okay? So this is going to be 4 plus 9. The right answer to this is 13, and I know I kind of write crooked. It's kind of cool, right? Um, the answer is 13. It's not root 16 plus 9, so you got to be very, very careful with those types of situations. Let's draw one more, and I'm going to go off the top of my head on this one, so hopefully it doesn't look too silly. Um, I'm going to go with example 6. Hopefully that's right. I don't want to have to do this video again. Um, Okay, so let's go the square root of 25 plus 3 root 5, okay? So, again, I'm seeing two different numbers under the radical sign, but I happen to know what this is, right? It's 5. It's not root 5, because root 25 and root 5 are two completely different numbers. So this becomes 5 plus 3 root 5. Now, can I add those together? No, I can't because these are not like terms. If this five had a root five on, or to the side of it, then I would be able to add them, but because it doesn't, I can't. Your correct answer here stays five plus three root five. Please do not add these first numbers together. That is not going to work for me. It's kind of like, pretend like this whole thing is an X, or a Y, or a variable. I can't add them together because I don't know what they are. Okay? Awesome, nice job.